Highlights brought to you by Lodix Jewelry and Crestview and Fort Loramie Tangling at UD Arena. And it would be Crestview finding their groove before game, but Fort Loramie finding their groove during the game. Getting it started, Corinne Heitkamp hitting the jumper for the Redskins to get the scoring started. Then Caitlin Gasson hitting another long jumper. And just like that, Fort Loramie up 6 nothing. But Crestview getting on the board next. Bailey Gregory with the step back triple, cutting the lead in half. Then back at the other end, Olivia Cunningham driving, scoring, bringing Crestview to within three. Then Cunningham again, getting the outlet pass, lays it up and in. Now Crestview only down one point, but the Redskins would have an answer. Kenzie Holscher getting open down low, and she lays that one up and in. Crestview with a nice answer, though, on the next play. Lacey McCoy driving off balance around the rim and scoring. Back to the Redskins, Dana Rose. All alone, near top of the key, bang, hits the three. And then Clara Gephardt, she would get it in the middle right here and then hits the short jumper. Time winding down in the first. Schultes getting the miss, putting it back at the buzzer and giving Fort Loramie a 17-9 lead. They would win convincingly 66-24. to Dana Rose with 22 points on 8 of 11 shooting for the Redskins who move on to the D4 state championship game. They'll play Saturday as they take on McDonald. Highlights brought to you by Structure Outdoor of Ohio, Division Three state semifinals. Ottawa Glandorf taking on Wayne Dale at UD Arena and the Lady Titans ready to go and they would get off to a great start. Chloe Glenn getting on the board first for the Titans as she scores down low. Then it's gonna be Kelsey Erford. She drives and hits the floating jump shot for nothing, Ottawa Glandorf. Then Glenn, step back, jumper, good. OG on a 6-0 run, and now some defense for the Titans. The steal, Lily Hazelman taking it down the floor, making the tough shot, gets that one to fall, and 8-0. Ottawa Glandorf looking pretty good for the Lady Titans. Adding to it, here's Aaron Kaufman with the heads-up play, putting that back in, 10-1 at this point. Now Erford, nice crossover, all over and then sinks the basket. 17 to five at Wayne Dale. Not going away yet. Here's Kaufman with a pull-up jumper. That makes it 17 to five. And then here comes Wayne Dale. Brooklyn Troyer knocking down the three-pointer, trying to get some scoring going for the Golden Bears. Then it's Troyer running the fast break and lays it in, bringing them back to within seven points. But Ottawa Glandorf ends their short drought on offense. Glenn gets it down low and lays it in. Makes it 19 to 12. Wayne Dale getting some more answers on offense now. Troyer again scoring on the break, but Troyer would foul out midway through this one. Laney Murphy trying to add some points for the Golden Bears. She hits the three, making it 17 to 19. Wayne Dale within two. And then the answer, Micah Aldridge down low, scoring for OG. The Titans, 46 36 winners over Wayne Dale as they advance in the Division Three state championship. They'll take on the winner of Marion and Highland.